This video will show you how to install all Coroma fully skirted toilet bowls using the Smart Connect system. To install your toilet, you will need the Smart Connect kit, a standard wax ring, a small crescent wrench, Phillips screwdriver, and some bathroom silicone caulking. It's also not a bad idea to wear gloves, especially if this is a toilet replacement, as the rough end might not be as clean looking as our demonstration area is here. There are many different types of wax rings you can purchase, but you absolutely must use the right kind. The wax ring I'm holding here has a plastic reducing ring attached to it. Using a wax ring like this can seriously affect the performance of your washed down Coroma toilet, causing a sluggish flush, back siphoning, or even clogging. You absolutely must use a simple, basic wax ring like this one. Most toilets are manufactured to work only with one rough-in size, but Smart Connect is very flexible and can work with either a 10 or 12 inch rough-in. The main part of Smart Connect is this offset adapter. If you look at it, you will see that one side is wider than the other. This is what makes the connector so flexible. By simply turning it different ways, you can allow for different rough-in dimensions. The first step is to determine if you have a 10-inch or 12-inch rough-in. Simply measure from the wall to the center of the rough-in. For a 12-inch rough-in, you will want to install the adapter with the wider side facing away from the wall. For a 10-inch rough-in, you will install it so that the wider side of the adapter is facing towards the wall. These holes around the outside of the smart adapter give you even more flexibility in that if you need a little bit more room, say because of a thick molding or because the plumbing is just a bit off, you can simply turn the adapter to allow for this outage. That will change the final positioning of the bowl. So if you have, say, a 10 and a half inch rough in, not to worry, Smart Connect will still work. You will now place the wax ring in the center of the toilet rough in, in between the bolts. Then simply place the offset adapter over top of the wax ring, pushing down until the bottom of the adapter touches the floor. When the adapter is in place, check the inside of the adapter to ensure that excess wax hasn't leaked into the adapter. If it has, you will want to remove that excess. Remember, this is where water and waste travels through to your plumbing systems. Excess wax buildup here may eventually cause a blockage. Next, you will need to place the fixing brackets on either side of the adapter. The multiple hole pattern of the fixing bracket provides a contact surface for the final bolting from the exterior of the bowl, so it's important to place it now. Simply slip the fixing bracket over top of the T-bolts and tighten them down with the washers and nuts included with the rough-in. This is not only setting up the final steps of your connection, but it's also what is attaching the adapter securely to the floor. Here's an insider tip for you. Depending on the placement of the adapter in your environment, it can be really difficult to get in to tighten the nuts over the T-bolts. If this is the case, you can simply pull off the top portions of the adapter like this, giving much more room to work. Make sure that they are tightened down, but don't over-tighten as that will affect the positioning of the bracket. Once both brackets are tightened, if you have removed the top portions of the adapter, just place them back on. Tidy up the area around the adapter and ensure that the entire area is clean and free from all building materials and debris. It's now time to place the toilet onto the adapter. If you look at the bottom of a fully skirted Coroma bowl, it will look like this. The round portion of the base fits inside the offset adapter, giving a nice tight seal. Once you have placed the bowl over top of the adapter, you will insert the plastic bushing, brass bushing, and stainless steel screw into each of the side holes, turning with a Phillips screwdriver until tight. At this point, the screw is going into one of the holes on that fixing bracket you attached to the offset adapter. This step secures the bowl directly to the offset adapter and the rough-in. 
Insert the second screw in the same manner on the other side of the bowl, then pop the decorative cap on top of the brass bushing to make the whole installation almost invisible. Run a bead of silicone caulking around the base to prevent any water from getting under the bowl. Make sure to leave a one inch opening at the back. You have now finished the bowl installation. The complete installation instructions are included with every Coroma Bowl, and if you need further assistance, just give our customer service team a call at 1-800-460-7019. We're here to help.